everyone a quick one. I finished socks for Anita um, and I wanted to share it with you and show you how they look like. So here they are in their toe, toe up socks. I used the leftovers up here and I picked up the brown color to emphasize maybe this panel. And this is the color work from my pattern. So here they are, the toe up socks with the true afterthought heel. I used a leftovers and I just uh, played with well, played. I used the pattern from my March socks. So check the pattern over here. This is the video from the other colors that I used for the sample socks and link um, down below. You can find the link to the pattern itself. I just used it for the leg and played with some color, a slightly different one and I really really like them. So uh, Anita wanted the, me to put the heel as normally I would put. So uh, that's what I always say. Once I have them on sock blockers, I know will they fit or not. So I hope they will fit. Um, although I'm rushing with knitting lately, as you may be aware, um, because of the baby and stuff. And um, I think my gait slightly got tighter. So I'm thinking of going 64. But I see a big difference between 56 and 64. I want to have something between anyway but i hope they will fit her and uh, and she will enjoy them so she won them for march 2023 giveaway that i organized on my channel knitting i love uh, but for members so you need to join and link down below to become a member so go that way i think it's the quickest way because even with a join button that should be next to the subscribe button it's not there unless you're on a pc or you browsing uh through or you browsing youtube through the browser <laughs> or you're watching youtube through the browser but if you're on any device different than pc then you have to look for the i think website version or something something like that so it's so difficult to find it therefore i would suggest you to go and check the link down below what it says how to become a member uh, if you're interested so we have already March and April socks and I'm thinking of May. I had an idea, but it does not go the way I want to. So I'm a little bit stressed out because time's ticking, right? And I have socks on the knitting needles. Let me update you what I have. And just quickly, I'm still knitting. I haven't finished it yet. The sweater as you can see i'm on the sleeves for my little one i meant to check how long i should knit the sleeves but i'm thinking i'm just going to go for with it and and then frog it if i would need to maybe make it too big and then frog um then the other part is i just picked up yarn and i started knitting socks for sebastian but i'm testing 2.5 millimeters knitting needles to see what kind of gauge I'm getting and how is it knits up and stuff. So I can still continue 50, 56 stitches, but I don't have nine inch circular knitting needles. I do have these. I received them. I got them from second hand, but that's the small one. This is the long one and it's unusual. This is, uh, what's the brand? I don't know. It, it's a beige cable. So it's also very tight. So if I had less stitches than 64, I have 64 over here um, because it's for Seb. So I'm just hoping that maybe there'll be slightly looser for him. Uh, he doesn't know that I'm knitting songs for him. So maybe a surprise. Drops Fable uh, 914, just in case you're interested, the same Drops Fable over here. It was just in the round and I have to look at it. Um, then I, for level two, Peggy picked this beautiful yarn and I already started 
I've knitted a bit and I knitted a bit and I was thinking oh maybe I should go some a panel and stuff so but I had a bit of a blockage so I don't have a clue what to do because I would want to make a color work but uh, it is a thicker yarn and I don't have such a thick yarn in regards like playing with colors because this is just fingering lighter fingering this is a thicker fingering so the only option that I can may have to either just knit it and have a plain vanilla and I think that's what I'm going to go because also I mentioned this yarn is not super wash so I might do that I just confirmed that with Peggy because I don't have yarn but it would be brilliant if I had some uh, purple color in this thickness and maybe some white I would say and maybe also some darker dark like pink color just to play um, on the base of this same colors and I was playing with something let me show you I'm going to frog it so something like this you probably won't even see it <laughs> on this yarn uh, but I was playing with um, a pattern that I wanted to to create but I don't think so <laughs> so that's that I'm going to frog it I'm going to probably just cast on and just knit in the round because no thinking no brainer if I think that's how you say it so basically in one bag I have one pair another pair three pairs yeah that's my uh, update what I have because that's what I said every video I try to tell you and show you what I have because I do have a little bit of progress here and there so I hope uh, you enjoy this one and see you in the next one bye